So, Alison, is it normal to have video calls as part of the foundation's meeting system? I just was wondering because I know there is lots of requirement basically to record this. That's why I'm recording this. Um, but from easiness standpoint, you know, basically to be able to communicate uh, easier, uh, I'd rather have it over video calls. But if there, it's going to be much trouble basically to get that um, recording and such, we can just keep doing it over um, text in this case. It's just because the, the, the business of the merger has lots of details we have to talk about. Sounds good. Sure. Hi, Nate. Good morning. Jessica is saying he's on the call, so maybe something I think is confused. Hello. Hey, Jessica. Yeah, sorry, I didn't see you at first, and that's why I uh, was double checking with you. Okay, sounds good. I think we're ready to go. So um, we have Allison and Nate as well on the call, and I'm casting my screen for the uh, the Etherpad for the UC, just to get everyone uh, in the same view of the agenda basically we have for today. So um, Nathan, Allison, I, I know you guys have probably been following what was happening, but basically we had an um, election period for the uh, UC ending, I think, mid-February, and there, there was no nominations for it. Uh, we have been talking for a while to basically uh, merge the UC and the TC into a common committee. Um, basically, that encompasses all the responsibilities of both committees. Uh, th there are some ongoing um, initiatives happening within the UC uh, that we want still to continue on, but th the consensus right now, and Jason, correct me if I'm wrong on that, is that we want to have this merger happen before um, the upcoming elections. We don't want him to run into the same situation again where there is no uh, um, candidates coming up. So we would like to have the responsibilities either moved over or so some sort of arrangement. Um, to happen before the upcoming elections in August. Um, that's correct, okay. Uh, th there was an uh, email sent out basically about the discussion that we had and whether the, the impact on the bylaws on, on the merger. Um, if I understand correctly, in order to merge UC and TC, it has to be a bylaws change, which means every representative of every company has to also to agree to that, which will take uh, as the guys in the DC said, years to happen. Um, obviously, no one wants that. Um, would like to have it as much 
smooth as possible. And that's why I'm, I'm trying today to basically, uh, in this meeting, find out what the UC wants to transition. So basically, what are the core responsibilities that we want to ensure that they move over to TC, to, to have them very clear that, that those are the parts where we want over in the merge committee. Uh, and if there is any sort of timeline, I know it might not happen today that we talk about all of this, uh, but more specifically about the goals, what are the things we want to... Uh yeah, sorry about that. Sure. If, any of you guys in Canada? There has been an uh, Amber Alert since yesterday, and that's why it's, uh, it's buzzing right now. So um, the goals um, of the UC, we, we've talked about the goals of the UC before. We went through a cycle of basically pinpointing what are what is a UC, what does it do, and what are the responsibilities of it. Um, when Amy and uh, the rest of the guys were around, and um, I, I think today we we can probably talk about those uh, specifically, just to as, as I mentioned, nail them down. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys you guys can see my screen, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, so I think I'm maybe able to just open this in a little bit. Give me a sec. Okay, I'll just pull this up from a different window in this case. Of from the part of the uh, bylaws, can you maybe give us an idea on what needs to happen for a full merger, like from a, co a structure perspective? So I'll just paste right now the, the goals that we have found in the last round. They'll be under today's agenda, so those are the goals. So there, there we found two goals during the last round of checks on the, the goals of the UC. From the charter is basically to represent user community, the board community, and the board committee with an OpenStack foundation, and the rest of the um, committees as well keep track of OpenStack deployments usage. This is something that we have been working, I think, heavily with, with you, Allison, and the rest of the, the guys on the survey, um, other stuff like that. Help share user stories and experience. We, we felt that last time we haven't been doing this as much as we wanted, and working with user groups worldwide. And this is something also we wanted to, with a revamp of the ambassador program, is to more encompass that. Right now, ambassadors specifically focus on user groups, but there is no outreach for the community uh, from that perspective. So we wanted to have this happening as well as part of the, um, the ambassador program. And from the bylaws is basically manage the working groups that are not under the TC or the board of directors. I think this is an area that we might, and maybe you guys can correct me on that, we, we might uh, downsize on that. Um, Basically, th there is lots of groups who have been reaching out to, but I, I don't think that separ separation is now as much needed. In other words, under the new committee or the TC slash UC merger, the same working groups can ha can be there and and can, can be talked with through the common committee. It doesn't have to be specifically UC for that. Correct. And selecting the UC chair, which is basically internal governance. So. How I, I view it is um, representing the user community is, is, a, is a big thing. We we need, under whatever committee that has 
that, that gets out of this merger is that this needs to still exist. Um, we don't want sp just to be a technical representation. We want also to be from a user space perspective that end users um, who use like the, the common OpenStack uh, ecosystem plus the actual de deployer or the operators of the OpenStack. So we want this in the new committee, and this was something that I, I wanted the, the merger to basically put a very focus on that, because this is the, the biggest part that the user committee basically does, is representing the user community. Does anyone have, sorry, go ahead. I think the theory also mentioned an idea of having um, dedicated users and dedicated members under the common committee that are responsible for the UC or user community community representation, but not basically labeled as user community members, uh, but not on a different committee. So I, I think this also works as a good idea if if that's um, because it just ensures that the community is well represented. Uh, and that it's not entirely a technical aspect of it. Operation as well as well as the end users are also seen in that picture. Um, okay, so the second goal, and you guys can interrupt me anytime if um, I'm going too long on a specific item. Uh, keep track of the OpenStack deployments usage. And this is, I think right now, mostly the um, survey, right? Good. So it's an easy to transition the thing over to um, the committee. Okay, makes sense. And it's, it's mostly collecting information from the end user community, right? So I think, yeah, this item is easy to transition. Again, we, we ha there is no clear way of how to merge without impacting the bylaws, um, which we we'll basically have to, to th maybe I'll, I'll go back and read this email and um, we can all think about more about what exactly are the, the um, streamlined options, the easy options to integrate, because we would rather have this in the upcoming round instead of having another election and basically we're waiting for um, no, no members from the community to join. So the, the other thing is helping sharing user stories and experiences. Um, also, you, you might know better than me in this, so I, I don't think we have done much in that perspective. We wanted to be more involved, and this is basically the, the purpose of the ambassador program revamp, but not actually, there hasn't been much done in the past few cycles, is that fair to say?
and would we want whatever body whether it's you know tc slash uc merger to be a hand in that to be a help hand in that Yeah, that's fair. Okay, that's, that makes that much easier actually to transition. It's if we have limited goals, which I see right now, mostly the the representing the user community, it's easy to move that over to a new body without having lots of basically tails to to um, to finish. Um, so la lastly, this is something actually uh, I wanted to be the, the more the ambassador program to be involved in, and I think the UC also saw it as well in the last uh, proposal we submitted for the ambassador program revamp, is being more involved on um, keeping the community vibrant, basically, like reaching out the community, outreaching, and um, getting the community involved in events that we organize, plus also the user group um, um, maybe, maybe uh, I would say I wouldn't say mentoring or more of uh, hands-on. If someone needs any assistance, they need to have, have someone from the uh, foundation or the co committees to basically assist with that. So I, I think this is something that we have been doing. So the ambassador program has has been there, and as well as the user groups, uh, the ops meetup, and other stuff like that. Uh, so I, I think this needs to still be existence in whatever new body under whether it's u user committee labeled members or the new body has to dedicate time for that. What do you guys think? So I, I think we're in sort of agreement that from the charter perspective, <coughs> there's two goals we want to have a specific existence under the new committee, which are representing the community and uh, working with the uh, user groups worldwide, which is basically ambassador program slash any kind of other representation. But when it comes to keeping track of OpenStack deployment and its usage, this can easily to transition either to the TC or to the um, uh, foundation because it already has been done in the past few cycles as well as the helping share the user stories and experiences so those can be um, moved over much easier we don't want we don't want this specifically to be under the new committee as long as they are being done we're happy about that is it fair to say that mm -hmm. okay that makes sense okay so let's check the bylaws so yeah, so the, the managing the OpenStack working group that's under, under TC or board of directors. So right now there is a limited set of that. And last, f this round actually we had issues about correspondence. We, we tried to reach out to some of them and there was no much updates happening. So that's why I, I think this needs to be amalgamated with the TC or whatever working groups exist. And th th it doesn't have to be a special um, handling of that basically the, the UC does not need to manage those groups uh, that's at least how I see it 
and those work groups can either be transitioned if they are still active or if they're not active they can just be closed and if someone is still interested now they can apply again to open them what do you guys think Yeah, I, I think I have some discussions from that. Um, so the just one sec, I'm trying to pull that up. Yeah, I have individual emails from August on that. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have to maybe, maybe for the next meeting, I'll just compile a list together of uh, the last correspondence. And maybe I'll, I'll just reach out in, the, in this coming week to get an update on that. If we have had any uh, updates since August, I'll just do that first. So I'll, I'll just reach out to the working groups, see if there's any kind of update or if there's any activeness and compile a list for that hopefully by next week or the week after um okay. and basically i reach out to that okay that makes sense yeah and, and basically selecting the uc chair so this is internal governance um I, i'd like us to continue to have a chair in this period um, just f from a, l I wouldn't say a leadership perspective, but just f for keeping things happening from a discussion with the TC and such. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm not, um, whether Jay Suk or myself, anyone, it's just two of us, so we'll probably sort it out in the upcoming meeting if you're fine with that, Jay Suk. Okay. I think from your time perspective, you know, can, can we dedicate time uh, for that? and uh, we can reach whoever wants of us. Make sense? Okay, so actually that went much faster than I thought. Uh, um, so, okay, so now we have, the I think, two goals and an action item that representing the other community is a, a goal that we want to be transitioned over uh, and as well as the working with the user groups. And now we also have, we wanna see if the working groups want to be moved over or if there's no need to move them because they are inactive. Um, so the, the, the thing I, I, I haven't actually, I, I read maybe a glimpse through it in the bylaws implications, um, but um, yeah, I'll, I think I'll have to go back and read uh, of those bylaws implications because I, I don't want the UC to exist as an empty body uh, as rather, I, I know that by law seems a, a very long thing to happen, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll, we'll discuss back on the TC channel on that. Ask what are the possible ways of merging with by laws of changing, and how fast can this happen? The last I heard was a few years. Uh, I, I really hope this is not true. Um, because the, the uh, sorry, go ahead, Alison. Or uh, maybe could move over the, those like those options and go through them, and leave the body empty for uh, until the bylaws are changed. Would that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair. Um, okay, so uh, I think maybe for now I'll just go back and read about this, and the rest of us can do the same, the existing ones, and I'll I'll, I'll see it from the discussion on the TC as well how things are happening on that, and by coming week. I will be able, hopefully, to compile the list or on the uh, working groups, and we could move from there. Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Same is good. Okay. Thanks, everyone, for today. And um, yeah, again, sorry about the video call thing. I know um, 
uh, it is just a bit of trouble really getting it organized uh, but I'll get the recording out uh, Alison is it good to share it with you and then you can post it somewhere that everyone can reach or uh, sure. okay sounds good okay thanks guys yeah, yeah have a good one Thanks, Nate. Okay, see you guys.